Hey, it's Time Machine VR. Let's get the Oculus Rift on and have a look. Okay, let's start by saying that requiring a game controller for a PC title isn't something that I'm a great fan of. Uh, I would expect mouse and keyboard contro controls for this type of this type of experience, this type of game. Even with an Oculus, it's reasonably easy to see the keyboard. I can look down and see the keyboard. I wasn't really expecting to have to use a controller, and that's why I've still got a tethered to still charging. Let's get going then. Okay, that's pretty cool. I think as most people have mentioned in their reviews already, the head tracking is very, very smooth. Absolutely no judder, no shakiness, no blurring. I'm running a 780 Ti and Sly, two of them. Uh, yeah, pretty nice. Oh, that's a bit bright. Left stick, forward, we're going forward. Pretty cool engines, and they are directional. Forward we go. I like the razor light, it's very cool. The pod is equipped with a time dilation device. Slightly claustrophobic. Using the water. Pretty funky effect. Okay, let's move forward. Keep on going. Curious. They seem to prefer swimming in a tight group. Go ahead and tag three more Solnhofia with probes. Perhaps the additional information will help us interpret their behavior. One, two. Head tracking is really cool. Very quick. I like the way the light kind of blinds me just a little bit here. And you. Now try launching a tracker. That could indicate a predator approaching. There is a predator approaching. Is it? Okay. They gathered here in the hopes of avoiding being over there, I can see him. The Pliosaurus is one creature you definitely don't want to antagonize. Okay. I've marked an escape path. We are moving sideways away from him. Of course, safety protocols recommend to the next research area as quickly as possible. Yeah, okay, okay, off we go. As quickly as possible. A lot of blood back there. Ugh, nasty bastard. Let's move forward. Get out. Now for the tricky part. Scan inside his mouth. Okay. Careful though. It will bite. Ah, he won't bite me. I can freeze time. Come here. Frozen. You got a big eye. Aye, aye, Captain. In we go. Oh, that's a really cool effect. Passing through us. Whoa. Marvelous performance. Thank you. Alright, enough talking, you should not get out of here. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, it's a bit shaky again. Oh. Epilepsy warning. Oh, epilepsy warning, please. Please. Welcome to the Mondo Museo's Temporal Research Facility in Svalbard. You have proven 
yourself the only candidate capable of withstanding the rigors of time travel. Really? Congratulations. Thank you. I've just reviewed the simulation results, and I'm very impressed and very proud. You performed well beyond my expectations, but okay. now we need your help. Right. I do like the way that the right thumbstick moves the right controller around. So as I move, there you go. The left thumbstick moves the left controller around. That's pretty cool. So in conjunction, both of them at the same time. Yeah. I also do like this kind of like a reflection on the glass just in front of me, which obviously means that I've got some kind of shield around this ship. Uh, similar to these ones here, I guess. Let's move up. Pretty cool. Yeah, very well done. Okay, so out into the world we go. The whole experience is very, very clean, very professional. Everything from the voice acting to the kind of details in the environment to kind of portray a feeling of being there. I guess so, looking at this on a 2D interface or a 2D screen, it probably looks a bit bland. I can, okay, if I go a bit closer, I guess the textures and so on are aren't that great up to scrutiny on a 2D interface, but on 3D you don't really notice it that much. Uh, the environment does look very bleak, uh, cold, and you get a feeling of uh, depth as well over there. There's mountain range and there's a rock down there, and it does feel suitably far enough away to make it quite realistic. And there's these floating, floating dust particles or snowflakes, whatever they are, which do kind of come towards you and just pass. There's arrows pointing down the light effect. It's probably for the best. Please scan the portal to initiate the transport sequence. Down here. Right. Looks like we're going. All systems are now online and operational. Okay. Prepare for a temporal relocation in three, two, one. Oh. Ooh. Ouch. Connected. Ooh, wow. That's very cool. Kinda scary. Where are we going? He's shaking. Oh. Vibration to my hands. Nice scan. Green scan. Scan. Okay, where did he go? Was she? Over there. I scan. I've got time freezing. Come here. There you go. Whoa, Jesus. I'm just tempted to look at the rest of it. The theory appears to be well founded. Whoa. The huge Pliosaurus is highly developed. Though they would perform poorly in low light situations. Let's do our best. To remain out of sight. That's a good idea. Moment to examine the anatomy of the Watch that geyser. It is pressurized water superheated by magma. It's not hot enough to harm our pod, but they'll make navigation challenging. 
Avoid if possible. Yep, I'm doing that. I forget we can freeze time as well, dude. We're pretty well equipped. Whoop. I think these are the guys you're looking for. Dacosaurus. Unfortunate for us, they are focused on a massive carcass. Their behavior is unexpected. A brontosaurus. Danger. Let's try to identify the carcass. Scan well, all exposed flesh to collect DNA data. I can tell you what it is. It's a brontosaurus. Pretty large. It will slow them down. A lot of the scanning stuff looks really cool in 3D. Close to this one. Scanning. What's so cool is that the... Obviously the creature is a little bit further away, but the interface that I'm scanning with, it's in two layers, so that... It's like a 3D effect to the actual interface, the scanner. Pop over here. Like these ribs, huge ribs, and really good kind of 3D effect to them. So I can, I can nearly put my head between two of them. Move back out again, scan. Okay, so I must say that the the one thing that gets a bit tedious in this game is having to scan same creatures over and over and over again. Of course it's going to be educationally interesting, but in terms of gameplay it does get a little bit dull. So potentially in terms of age restrictions it might be, a, or age limits, it might be a specific age group this might apply to. A hardcore gamer maybe not so much. I've been playing for about half an hour now, and I am starting to feel rather nauseous. It's actually not something that's happened to me with the DK2 before. Uh, usually the refresh rate is high enough for me not to feel ill. Uh, this is the first time I'm actually feeling ill with the DK2. Uh, saying that, this is also the first time I'm playing with direct mode rather than extended mode. This is the new 0.7 drivers rather than the 0.5 run times. So, oh, I don't know whether it's the refresh rate or whether it's just the extended period of time, it's only half an hour, shouldn't have been too bad. I'm starting to feel ill. Ugh. 